Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrea and I have been selling on Etsy for eight years as an embroidery seller. And this YouTube channel is just where I talk about my Etsy journey, things I've tried, marketing things, embroidery things, basically everything about my shop. So if you are interested in learning about Etsy, you are in the right place. Today specifically, I'm going to be answering the question, was renting a studio space for my embroidery business a good idea. Okay, so a little bit of backstory if you're like, I didn't even know what is, you even had a studio space or whatever. So a little bit of backstory is that I have been an embroiderer for eight years. I've been doing that on Etsy. Um, we have several machines and it just, basically it's a bigger, like um, it takes up a lot of foot space or footprint space, I guess. And so we decided two years ago to rent a studio space. And then recently we decided to completely end the embroidery side of the business because we're about to have a daughter and switch over to completely passive income. So we are about to move out of the space. Our lease expires in like one month. And so I am now looking back and thinking, was that a good idea? Um, just things to factor in is that we did some work to it. It was, we had to like do like a month's worth of months worth of like had to take down some walls and all that kind of stuff. So answering the question, was renting the embroidery shop a good idea? Also, if you are interested in even seeing what it was, I have two tours posted on this channel of my studio space, like what, what it looks like. Um, so yeah, just the things you need to know for like, before we dive into this video is that one, embroidery machines, if you have the amount that we have, take up a lot of room. We were in the space for two years and we did do work to it. So was all of that a good idea? That's what we're gonna talk about now. Okay, so there are two layers to this question. There is the, was it a good idea for my business and was it a good idea for our personal lives? Um, definitely two layers to this question. And so we're gonna talk about the business layer first. And to be 100% completely honest with you, if we're talking about strictly business, the answer for me is an obvious, hard and fast, no, it was not worth it strictly for the business sake. So uh, for one, there's a couple reasons that on paper, I would consider it, like if you looked at it on paper, I would consider it a very, very bad investment, if you could even call it investment at all. Um, and that's because we did not open up the store, even though we were in a strip mall, we did not open it up for visitors. So we used it as like a satellite office space. So like we didn't ever even put a sign on the door, like unless you knew that that was my business in there, you would never know where it was or what it was. It just looks like a space that's not rented out, honestly. There's no sign on the door, nothing like that. So it's not like, we basically what I'm trying to say is that we didn't get any more orders. There was no business growth that happened because it was in a storefront rather than a um, home. Like, so because of that, like, because I feel like you could say that we didn't use it to its fullest potential, but the personal side is where it all makes a little more sense. Definitely, it was not considered like a good business investment. On paper, you would be like, why did they do that? Like, so all that being said, Diving into like the business side, definitely not. Could I have made it a good investment? Probably, could I have opened it up to the public? Definitely. Um, we just didn't wanna deal with like having store hours and all that kind of stuff. So because we didn't do that, it was not. However, obviously that does not cover the personal side of things. And so basically what I want to talk about is like what it impacted for our personal lives. So we had the embroidery business early on in our marriage. We had it in the house. Uh, we were living with some family members because we had like a really weird, I'm not gonna get into it like weird living situation um, because, but basically like we were, doing a lot in a small amount of space. We had my entire business, which consisted of eight machines, and two computers, a big packing table, a lot of orders, all within our probably like thousand square foot living area. There was that, and then also like our bedroom and also like an office. So we definitely 
uh, were crammed early on in our marriage. And my husband, which is the end all be all biggest reason why we cannot run a business, an embroidery business out of our home. And we learned this very quickly. We were like, this is not going to work. Is that my husband is a project manager. And so because of that, he is on meetings a lot. And he uh, cannot be on meetings while we are running the embroidery machines because embroidery machines are massively loud, especially when you have them in like a small space. Like when I'm at the shop, I can hardly even record a video, like not record a video, but like even just when I'm vlogging or like talk on the phone over them because they are massively stimulating, especially when you have all eight going at one time and during busy season we do. So it does not work at all to bring the business back into the home or to have it in the home because of that. So that is like the biggest thing is that they're just so loud and same with like, I mean, we could definitely get by with like a kid napping while they were going on because I feel like nothing wakes kids up, but the meeting portion definitely made it made it hard. So that being said, we ended up buying the house that we were living in and now we live here alone. And I still feel like it was not a good, it would not have been a good decision to bring the embroidery business back in. So in early on in our marriage, we were running the embroidery business out of the house. We had a much smaller footprint that we were able to take up. And then we were able to buy the house that we were living in. And so because of that, we got a lot more space and in theory could have brought the business back home and dodged the rent payment. Um, and we decided not to do that for a number of reasons. For one, my husband still was on meetings. It would have been a little more doable, but still really, really hard with the noise. Um, we already had the shop set up. It was already completely set up. It was done. I have a lot of machines. And so that was just something that like, it would have taken a lot. It would have taken a whole new renovation process again to bring it back home, a whole new moving day. It is not easy to move my machines. It's why I was so serious about selling them so quickly. I was like, okay, we are not moving these back home whenever our lease expires. So we have already sold them all. And so that was one thing. And then two, it's like, the separation of work and home is so, so nice. I think that's something that we didn't realize because now we are both full-time working from home and it's just really, really nice to like drive home from work and leave work at work. And like while we were trying to figure out being early married, having the business in the basement and just like running that, it was really, really hard, especially because during busy season, like I have to have some level of help. Like my mom helps me, but also like I had to hire some other people to help me. And so then you have people in your home and it's just loud. It's a lot to have that happening at a different location was absolutely massive. And a large reason why even whenever we in theory could have made it way, way easier, um, what it didn't feel like an option for us for our personal lives. So I cannot even, um, overstate how big of an impact having the shop space was on our marriage. Like we definitely, the, the short season, it was a very, very short season that we had the business and us in the home. That was really, really, really hard. Like it was, it was a lot. It was a lot happening. There was a lot going on. On top of that, we were living with other family members. Um, and so that was just really, really difficult. We feel really lucky to have been able to afford to do that. But I literally can't even overstate enough how big of a difference it was on our marriage and just our personal lives and our everything to just have the business away from the home and reclaim that space and like, reclaim that footprint of the home. And it has always been that way. Like now we're like, we will not run a physical product business out of a home unless it takes up a very small footprint ever again, because that was so hard. And it is so much simpler to have it have its own space and time and just dedicated thing. So all that being said, obviously the business side was like a no, it was not a good idea, but the personal side made it such 
I guess not like a good idea, but like so, it, the personal benefits so heavily outweigh the cost that neither me or my husband regret doing that in literally any way. I hope that you find that encouraging if you're in a situation where like you're doing a business and it's taking over your home. There is, you have the license to make a personal decision if you want, even though it might not be the best business decision on paper. If you are able and you are having the desire to, you, I have done that as well. Like, and so I took, I took the de decision process. I took, I put a lot of value in the personal value that we had, like, and, and that was just something that had to happen. Like definitely had to happen. So we definitely, um, we do not regret it in any way. Obviously it was expensive. Um, looking back, we definitely could have done something that was like technically better. If we would have known how our home situation was going to unfold, we could have done something that was like technically better, but we didn't, we didn't know how it was going to unfold. We didn't know what was going to happen at all. It was definitely like, it was definitely a lot was unknown. It was, it was a temporary situation. And so we didn't know how it was all going to unfold. We didn't know for sure that we'd be buying the house that we were going to live in. And so because of that, we just agreed for our personal lives that it was the absolute best decision we could have made. And we consider it money well spent. Even still looking back, we consider that like definite money well spent to <laughs> have done that. Of course, that does not mean that I would recommend it to every business owner. It is the whole idea of having like your own space for your business, like, or like a other location is super fun. It's another place to decorate. It's like very fun. We had so much fun with that space. Like I painted it pink and I did colorful chairs and it was a lot of fun. I did like a wall with a ton of vacation photos. Like a lot, a lot of fun. However, like it is like a whole nother rent payment. And of course, for some businesses that makes a lot of sense for us, I felt like that made, made sense. But as we're moving into this new phase of life where it is, I want to be more passive income. I want to be at home more. I want to be able to take maternity leave and not actively lose money during, I, during those times where I'm not going to be in the shop. Cause I want to take like a three month maternity leave. Um, it is a lot it's, it's a bigger, like the expense seemed smaller when I wasn't paying it and it seemed bigger when I was paying it. And so it is a lot. So like, just don't sleep on that expense is something that I would definitely say. Cause I was like, it's not going to be that much like yada, yada, yada. And then I'm like, okay, like that, that was like a lot of extra money just going to that, just going to like literal, just overhead costs. Um, and so obviously I would try and cut that. We still obviously think it was a good idea, but it is a lot of money. So, um, of course it's worth it to do it in some situations. It is not always worth it to do it in others for just other business owners. It is extremely fun, but definitely this was more of a personal decision for me and my husband and just, just something that was good for us and necessary for us. And we don't regret it for that reason. All that being said, this video was obviously not like super helpful. If you are trying to decide if you want to get a studio space, unless you're also like, at your wits end being in your home, um, then of course I recommend it if, if you know, you can financially handle it. But, uh, this was just supposed to be a fun video about my shop. I do think that sometimes when people see like certain aspects of them, I don't ever want it to be glorified. Like it was absolutely the most amazing decision, blah, 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 which we do feel that way, but because of our personal lives, not because of the business life. So, um, yeah, all that being said, I hope this video was enjoyable. It was just supposed to be a casual, fun video about just my shop journey and decisions that we made and how we feel about them. So I hope that that was entertaining to watch. All that being said, I make two new videos every week about my shop journey, things I've learned in the past, strategies, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in Etsy, make sure to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and joining along this journey with me.